you guys, there is a new push to make it harder for children to access social media. Lawmakers from New York to Florida are taking some new action uh, with this situation. Here's ABC's Lionel Moise. Lawmakers in Florida have approved what could become the most strict crackdown on social media in the country. A bill passed by the House would ban anyone under age 16 from signing up for most social media platforms, regardless of whether they have their parents' approval. It's like a digital fentanyl, and even the most plugged-in parent or attuned teen has a hard time shutting the door. The bill, which passed with bipartisan support, does not specify which platforms would be affected, but it targets any company that tracks user activity, allows children to upload content, or uses design features like endless scrolling, which critics say encourages compulsive use. They're just taking advantage of kids growing up. Opponents say the bill infringes on parental rights and will face First Amendment challenges in court. The ACLU saying the Internet, including social media platforms, contains vast amounts of constitutionally protected speech for both adults and minors. Meanwhile, in New York City, we are the first major city in America to take this step. The mayor has now designated social media as an environmental toxin and public health hazard. The city's health department issuing an advisory that cites declining mental health among young people. But social media companies like Meta, which owns Instagram and Facebook, have long touted their improved security features and parental controls to protect children. And supporters say social media has real benefits, allowing teens to connect and find people with like interests. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York. The New York advisory urges parents to delay giving kids access to a smartphone until they're 14 years old. Meanwhile, in Florida, the bill passed by the House still needs approval from the state Senate and the governor.